This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation viewers, Valdemar back here with another episode of Fable the Lost Chapters. In the last episode, we assassinated the assassins, watched their faces, we stabbed them dead. I love it when that happens. I love killing assassins because they're always so surprised when it occurs. But anyway, today we're gonna keep finishing off some of the regular side quests and then maybe start the end game. Let's find out. Anyway, I found one more book to give to the teacher and get the final reward Any for it. Any books for us today, hero? Uh, we're gonna give him the final reward, uh, final book to get the final reward for collecting all of the books. Well, most of them anyway. I don't think every single book is considered uh, for this, but uh, well, anyway. there's the Repentant Alchemist, but uh, I'm not sure it's really suitable reading for children. Do you not see the horns on my head? Fucking read it. Yes. All right then. Want... I'll give it a try. Don't be sarcastic with me. I'm evil. Arr. Five and twenty years have I tended this inn, not knowing my wife was living in sin. For while I served the townsfolk ale by day, at night my wife served them in another way. But soon they'll regret leading her astray. When next they sip my ale, it will be their lives that pay. He who hath slept with my love will die at its taste. Then I shall see if any among them can call themselves chaste. Uh, thank you, Billy. I think that's enough for today. It is odd to hear Before children talk go, about chastity there's and something stuff like I'd that. like to present to you. Your On children are screaming. One of our excursions, little Billy strayed off the path, as he always does, and found this. Ah, that little Billy. I'm surprised he's not dead. And we get a silver key for completing the quest. He tried to hide it under his shirt, if you can imagine. I'm sure you can put it to good use. You're just trying to get rid of me, aren't you? Anyway, yay, we get 100 renown, even though we don't need it because we maxed out. And we've completed the quest, as as you can see if I check my little current quest thing. It's gone. Yay, we've done it. All right. Uh, I, just, I also checked on some other quests just to make sure I can finish it. As far as I know... A chi like the chicken kicking one, the fishing and archery. I guess those only disappear if you like win all the rewards or something like that. So I don't really care to mess with that. So those will be stuck on our thing, which I'm fine with on that. Uh, collect the hero dolls because I'm playing the the Lost Chapters version of the game. I can't finish it till I do the epilogue stuff. So we had to wait for that for a while. So let's uh, get another silver key and then get the hidden booty that we've been uh, so graciously been trying to get this whole time. Let's go to the teleporter. Oh, because I'm wearing this bright armor now, like, because my scariness is reduced and my attractiveness has increased, like, half, like, if you look at all those, like, in the little map thing, you see, like, a lot of little dots. Those are people who have apparently fallen in love with me all of a sudden. Guys, gals, whatever, they've all fallen in love with me. I'm only into women, but I don't mind if a, if a, if a dude just looks me down. Hey, it doesn't hurt me, and he can have his fun. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take care of Orchard Farm. Oh, um, well, let me read over the clues, obviously, and then we can uh, uh, we can uh, tell you uh, like how to figure that out, at least from what I understand. I mean, obviously, you could try to dig around everywhere and find it. Now, this is one of the few things that you can't just straight out dig for. Like, the game won't tell you to auto-dig for it. Yes, you have to manually dig for it, so it'll never pop up as a... You know, like, oh, dig here type of thing, so. Alright, so we've got the clues we need to look at here are... I don't know, I might have read them last episode, but I'll do it again for this one. To begin your quest, go to the region where the scribbling hobs were discovered in Legion. Your hunt for the treasure can only come good if you start your search where fruit lies in the wood. So it's basically telling me the first quest is trying to take me to the great, like, great wood or whatever region... This one's telling me to go to Oakvale because of the fruit. With your back to the lake, walk into the light. Proceed no further when it's no longer in sight. That's telling you to go to the back of the... Uh, or that's telling you to start at the entrance where the lake... Uh, if I go back behind from where am I currently sitting at, that's where you can hit the Great Wood Lake or whatever. So, The nearest construction point with its limb. Follow its direction, but don't stop on a whim. It's talking about the tree pointing in the direction. In the middle of the place. You're not going in circles, but riddle me this. Repeat the last clue. You won't go amiss. 
Your reward is buried at the end of your tra trail. Proceed as directed till your twixt wooden bale. All right, so that's basically saying, all right, have your back to the Great Lake. If you follow this way, you can tell that it's, it's a Great Lake. So I want to keep going till we, I believe it's the tree. Uh, it's telling us to take where the tree's pointing right there, so we want to follow that. And then, we want to go right here. I believe it's like about right here, give or take. <sighs> Is it just a bit further? It might be a bit further. Okay. Oh no, sorry. Whoops. Wrong spot. Hey, <laughs> I was thinking of something else. Wah wah. Anyway, sorry. Here we go. This is where we're supposed to dig. My bad. Ha ha! And we get a frying pan. With someone's face bashed into it. Great, thanks game. A frying pan. What are we going to do with this? Cook eggs? Well done, well, it's dear. Not... You've solved the riddle and found the treasure. Well thanks, now get out of my head! Get out of my head! Anyway, let's see what this weapon actually does. It's not great, but it's not bad either in, in a weird sense. The frying pan does 100 damage, no augments, heavy, stained with the ancient remains of a greasy of greasy breakfast. This pan has a mysterious quality to it. Basically the big thing about this is being able to augment it with four different slots. So you have a very heavy customization. So for example, if you want a weapon that you don't use maybe melee a lot and you use range or magic more, you might want to give yourself like health augmentation and man augmentation on it and maybe like something else. I'm not going to use it, but it's there. Like I said, it's probably not the best weapon in the game, but... Oh, well, what can you do? All right. Now, before... Let's see. Where do I want to go? Twin Blades? Yeah, I'll go to Twin Blades next. That's where a key... And we can finally open up that... Uh, there's a, a silver key we've missed we, that we could have digged for because it was, like, back in the corner. But we've also got... Uh, um, we've also got that demon door we can open up now that we have the bright plate because I've got... I guess there is no helmet slot for this... Um, for this, I thought there was. I don't know why. I think it's because the regular plate one has an armor, and this one doesn't. And you can kind of tell what armor has a full set if you go into... I don't know if I talked about this a while back, but if you go into clothing and highlight, like, certain outfits, it'll say parts acquired. And, uh, it'll say, like, what is it? where's bright plate? Uh, well, I mean, I'm wearing it, so I probably won't. Well, anyway, the outfit I'm wearing has has the full the full set on. So there is bright plate gauntlets. All right. Well, anyway, I've got the full suit, so just just take my word for it. All right. So before we go to that demon door, let's get one more uh, silver key. Actually, get that one silver key from the uh, from the teacher gives us 25. This will give us 26. Uh, the epilogue storyline has 30 keys total, so kind of keep that in mind when you're. Uh, checking for stuff, so. Like I said, we're not quite done with this game yet, so. Alright, get another silver key that gets us to 26. And a chest that we missed a while back. Uh, I think the rest of the keys we can't get till we unlock the, uh, the epilogue stuff, so. Need someone to come. Watch your back. Nah, that's fine. If I want to get the Temple of Squirm achievements, or not achievements, Tempo Scorn thing, I'll sacrifice you because apparently sacrificing like hired help gives you a lot of points for the Tempo Scorn little uh, side quest. I may wait to finish maybe those if because uh, I know you can finish the Hero Doll things after getting to the finale, but I know a lot of side quests do conclude automatically when you go to the Jack of Blades end game for the. The reason I call it the end game type of thing here is because in the original Fable, this is where the game would have ended. Like when we fight when we fight Jack. But we'll get to that when we talk. So anyway, let's talk to You are not one of them, are you? My eyesight's not what it used to be. One yeah. was a gallant knight. His plate armor was so shiny. Probably what did my eyes in. Yeah, we got that. Then there was an evil mage. Wore the darkest magical robes you ever saw. Uh -huh. The last was a rogue. A bandit. Bit like the chaps here. 
Ah, I recognize you, the gallant knight. Yeah, if you actually are dressed like what you're supposed to, he'll automatically recognize Where you. Where is the evil mage I await? Well, you don't have to wait long. Just give me a second. I'm trying to take off my pants. Not in front of you, pervert. Okay. The wizard, uh, the I evil wizard is the dark will user. So let's uh, wear this I until I recognize again. you, the evil mage. You hung on the evil mage a bit longer Where than you should Where is the have. mischievous bandit I await? And we get that, We I think the bandit one we get automatically for going to Twin Blade, if I remember correctly. So, anyway. Alright. Dress? Anyone mainly dress? No? Okay. There's the bandit. I think that's up top right there. There it is. Okay. Alright, you talk to him again. I recognize you, the mischievous bandit. Ooh, mischievous. My friends, welcome. Why do you want a gallant knight, an evil wizard, and a mischievous bandit? Is he talking about like a heroic party or something like that? Like of, of characters? Well, anyway. Um, since I don't need to wear the bright plate anymore, what do I want to stick with for the end game? At this point, armor is fine, but I don't know. With with like as much health I have, it doesn't really matter to me like what I really wear. Could wear the bright plate to actually look kind of nice for once, or leather or something like that. I don't have my full set. So wear a dress throughout the rest of the game. I could do that. Even though I'm not a light user, a bright user, I kind of like the uh, uh, the will user's outfit. I could wear bright chain mail, just not see my face. Hell, I look ugly as all hell, so why not? Oh, but that makes me look all good. Nah, let's just wear the dark leather. Alright, that'll, uh... Alright, anyway. Alright, this is the final demon door of the, uh, main storyline. I think there's one or two more demon doors for the Lost Chapters area, I think. But... Ooh, it's all snowy. The Bitter Shrine. And a bunch of dead skeletons. Oh wait, they would already be dead. Never mind. Alright, let's see what's in here. The final treasure of the Demon Doors. The Doll Master's Mace. I think at this point, with what I've already got, it's probably not that great. Because I've already opened up a lot of the Silver Key chests. Let's take a look at it, though. Oops. The only reason I'm using this is because it's got a uh, experience augmentation and piercing, so it does a decent amount of damage. But anyway, Doll Master's Mace. Yeah, and was a, it's one of those that you probably should have gotten a while back. I should have gotten a while back, but oh well. Has mana augmentation at least, so if you're a mana mana user, it's actually better to at least have this in your inventory. Quick fingers and an eye for details with the Doll Master's trademarks, but only once did he use his skills to create a weapon. This was the result, a coloss uh, as colossal as his dolls were delicate. But yeah, basically, augmentation basically means your uh, your uh, spells do a slightly more damage while wielding it. And all that that means is you just have to have it equipped on you, as far as I remember. So, all right, I think we got one more silver chest we need to open as well, which is at the Heroes Guild. Which I think after that we can start the end game because I think. I mean, I could go ahead and do the Temple of Squirm or Temple of Avo and see if I can get those to unlock, but the thing is I still haven't maxed out all my stats yet, and I'd rather do that when I've... Well, not maxed out my stats, I'd rather do that if I've maxed out my years in the, in the game, but... Oh, well. Like I said, I'll make a backup save if I, uh, if I feel like, uh... Like, like if, if some of the quests do end up being stopped, I'll just show those like as maybe like bonus episodes or something like that. Like what happens if you complete the Temple of Squirm or, or Avo quest lines. Alright, let's go back to the Heroes Guild. I know there's probably like one or two more silver keys I'm kind of missing from like random stuff that I might be, that I might have forgot to dig at or whatever. But for the most part, I'm good to go. I'll try to, uh, I'm trying to space these out because like I said... Despite the fact that we're almost near the finale of the main Fable storyline, we still got the epilogue stuff to do, so... Actually, I don't even know if I called it an epilogue. I, it's more of a continue. I just called the epilogue because it's extra from what I was originally used to in the original Fable game. I have a quest from your mother. Quickly, come to the map room and speak to me. 
Shut up. I, I will be glad to be done with this trife. You hear me, Guildmaster? Anyway. Yeah, the only part about emulating this game and doing full evil is, uh, look, I'm supposed to have, like, blonde hair and all this other, I think blonde and brown hair. Look at this. It's so, look at how rendered it is. It just looks, and it, sometimes it disappears. I don't know. That just looks terrible. I, in the original game, I don't remember it looking so bad. I think it's an emulation issue in this game, I think. Uh, sorry. Don't say sorry. Just die already. Alright, let's grab the... Oh, did I show that off on screen already? Oh, that's right. That was the mirror, mirror great hammer I'm wielding. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, folks. Uh, my mentalness is uh, going weak today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I was gonna, I was gonna go do the. I g grabbed that, and then I said, "Oh, I'm gonna do the hidden treasure next episode." And yeah, this is what happens when you don't record multiple episodes in one ah, sitting. There is an important quest. I do one. I do two episodes in one sitting. Then I wait a week and I do it again because I work on another project. So, uh, let's do a quick level up before we uh, actually start the uh, in-game stuff. Uh, yeah, I wanted to show the sword and the stone, but I haven't. I don't. I don't think I have the stats to match. I mean, I could try to use the rest of my general experience to try and, because uh, you have to max out your stats to. Uh, um. Yeah. Ah, excuse me. You have to max out all your physical stats to pull the sword from the stone, but I don't have a. Uh, I don't think I have the stats to do that. I'll just have to see if I can earn enough from the uh, epilogue and see, and hopefully that's an, an, a a uh, a uh, quest I can still work on. Uh, do I just want to raise my magic power? I haven't even maxed that. I had, you know, for some reason I remember in the last uh, like a long time ago when I first played this game, I could swear I had maxed out like almost all my spells by this point. But maybe I really did a lot of grinding, and I'm, I haven't really done that this much in this game. Could do that. That would. Yeah, let's just do a magic power. We'll take that hit. Okay. I mean, yeah, I probably should use it all for the Jack of Blades encounter, but I think we're gonna be fine. All right, dude. Let's do it. Oh, uh, and let me see. Check, double check our quest lines before we start the end game, or at least the main quest, anyway. Yeah, I can't do that. I think. Uh, yeah, I'll do a maybe I'll do a bonus episode on investigating the mayor after a point. Fish competition. Yeah, Temple of Light. Uh, Temple of Light, basically what happens is you just need to, the easiest way to do it is you basically get really, really evil, then you donate money to the Temple of Light, and you're supposed to, you donate so much, you lose a, um, you get a weapon, uh, which is a mace, and then when you donate a few gold after that, you get a title and a few years, not, uh, saved off your life, so you're a little bit younger. Sword in the Stone, you get a powerful uh, two-handed weapon. I don't think it's as good as the Mirror Great Hammer that you can that I'm equipped with, but I could be wrong. But you have to max out all your stats to pull that. Chicken kicking, yeah. Collect the Ear Dolls, we have to get to the end game for that, or ad block for that. And Temple Squirm, you get a bow, a title, and a few years knocked off your life for basically sacrificing a ton of people at the temple. So you have to basically wear nice clothing, or so, if you're evil, wear nice clothing to trick him. Or if you're good, which makes this easier, you just have a follow you and then sacrifice him. If you can do it at exactly midnight, apparently you can unlock the item, like, immediately. It's, But I haven't yet done that before, because I was... This is terrible. Jack it. has captured your mother again. Damsel, anyone? I spoke to her briefly today. She told me about the sword and the existence of a key to unlock it. I'm the key, aren't I? Or Jack the can is. never be allowed to succeed. You must stop him getting the key from Hook Coast. Yeah, if you say so. There is a quest card for you, but if you choose to take it, you will forsake your other tasks. This is too important. Okay. Very Actually, well. let's, uh, hold Finished. on. Hold on, I need to... Let's go ahead and world save. We'll world save in aisle one, so this is if I ever need to go back, so I can't... Uh, uh, I can't save over that basically. So if I ever need to go this back to do any extra stuff, I, spoke Jack. I can a... load from that file. So, all right, let's do Good. it now quickly. Give me the thaumaturgica. Well, I don't trust. When you. you approach the barrier to Hook Coast Abbey, I shall contact you on your guild seal. You're only helpful when you want to be, don't if you? If I Mr. read Gilbert from the Master. correct passage, it should disable the barrier. Now go. 
Okay. So we need to go to go the Hook Coast, huh? All right, you let's received do it. a new quest card. You must find the key. How do I have a new quest card when you just gave it to me, dork? All right. Anyway, let's go to the Hook Coast and encounter Jack of Blades finally. The only sad thing is I wish Jack of Blades had been more. I don't know. Like me, I like a good villain, and I like a villain's involvement. And I feel like. I don't know, as short as this game can be, I feel like he wasn't involved enough with the game. But then again, I don't know. This was a first attempt, so I can't complain too much about it. Oh, well. And it's just wishful thinking. I have yet to play the Anniversary Edition of this game, though, so I don't know if they tweaked some features or, or polished some stuff that for the original game. We've got to get out of here! It's after us! Dude, gingivitis, oh, man. We're all gonna die! Do you want some Listerine? Well, that's what it looks like. Anyway. So the Hook Coast is being attacked, huh? Return to Hook Coast. Dispel the barrier at Hook Coast Ruins. Guild reward. Renown. I'm already at max Renown, so that doesn't really affect me. Alright, let's see if we can stop these creatures, though I don't really care for the people being hurt, because whatever, but, you know. Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did were, were you were you a problem? Were, were you a problem? No, nope, no, nope, because you're dead. You're dead. You won't have. You won't see your concert in hell, lady. Oh, another one. Oh well. All right. Boom. I'm too overpowered for the end of the game. All right. Well, I mean, I do have, like, one of the best weapons in the game right now. Not, I don't think it's the best weapon, but it's definitely one of the better ones. One that you don't have to, like... Oh, it only takes one hit to take them out? So I was just overkilling them earlier. Alright, evil against evil, I guess. Because Jack of Blades is too evil. We're semi-evil, so that means we're not... As Okay. Oh, I was gonna do a dance or something. Oh well, whatever. Hey, Maze. What are you doing? You're alive. Yes, I, I was worried when you disappeared. Okay. Your sister. Wait. I know. I had to tie her up. Jack is controlling her somehow. That's yeah, I I'm believe here. that as far as your chin is. I'm trying to stop him. He's lying. Campbell's cousin. He's the one working for Jack. What the? No, she's trying to confuse you. She's... There is really no time for this, old wizard. Finish the ritual maze. I'd like my key now. It's almost over, and it will be easier with the boy here. So, you escaped my little cage. I'm surprised it took you so long. I trust you didn't lose too much of that precious blood of yours getting out. The Septimal Key. You've hidden from me far too long. Take our two blood bags to the chamber. I shall be there soon. Eh, I still prefer a meat bag from HK. Surprised? But... You shouldn't be. Only an idiot would oppose Jack. You can't win, boy. The world belongs to Jack now. No, it's gonna belong to me! With your death. Ha! Not even gonna give you a chance, douche nozzle. <laughs> Get up! Ah, come back here. Pussy. Where are you? Oh, I didn't know you could read that. Ah, no, no time for silliness. Gotta beat Maze. Who knew? The man who saved me all those years ago. He was working for... Wait, where is he? Is he outside of this place? Oh, am I supposed to chase him through town? That makes sense. Okay. Anyway. Gotta go ahead and smack him. Aw. Why are you doing that, man? And beating him at, like, two strikes. Anyway. 
But yeah, the man who saved us all those years ago had been working. That's why he was there. It's because Jack, he was working with Jack. And we needed to survive because we were part of the key to get the Sentinel key. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have trusted him, even though I'm clearly evil. So trust is not something I really care that much about. Do, 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 do. Killing you in like a couple of shots. Seriously, like I'm too powerful for the end game here. I'm really powerful. Not max st stats, mind you, but, you know. Yeah, like, Maze can't really do anything with this one. Makes sense that we have to handle the, uh, Let's go to the lighthouse for the finale. Although I don't... Actually, I don't need to use my spells, do I? <laughs> yeah, I forgot sometimes you can just straight up. What the hell? Okay, who did that? Was that hit? Was that Maze? Okay, well... Ah! Okay, this is... Oh, sorry, I'm kind of ruining his... His, like, little conversation bit about... Being there when my home burned or something. I'm not trying to do that, it's just maybe I should have like, not maybe I should have let him talk. Oh well. There we go. I'm dead now. Yeah, maybe I should have let him talk. Oh well. Uh, I was wrong. Maybe you are strong enough to defeat Jack. Well, look, I'm actually older than you now. That's how much I've worked on this. You haven't got much time. He's using the key to activate the focus sites all over Albion. No. Then the sword will be his, and it'll be too late. No. I want to conquer It'll the world. be time to stop him. None of them can. What, are you talking oh. about the other heroes? You like, want to know why three? I did it, don't you? Eh, I guess. I suppose I'm just an old coward boy. We don't all embrace death. Well, you're Easily. about to now. For some of us, the quest, the only quest, is to escape death. Whatever the cost. Why did you talk to Scythe then? He's... Immortal. And it looks like I failed. Good rinse to bad rubbish, I say. Yeah, you even talked to Scythe at the beginning of the game. Clearly, you knew how he did it. He survived. He's immortal. I mean, yeah, he's a skeleton for the rest of his days, but he's a lich. So, there you go. Huh. Now then. Guess it's time for us to follow Jack and Blade to find out where to go next. Where is this little... Where is this dude, anyway? Hmm. Oh, wow, we got a lot of experience. Alright, let me check our quest log and see what the game tells us to go. Hmm. I guess we should go back to the guild hall. See what happens there. Sure, Come on, I let's... see you at the guild Okay, I was about to go there anyway, but thanks for telling me. You know, anyone with half a brain can figure out most of this stuff. I'll admit, there's some things that will bypass me every once in a while, but... Tell me, where do we find Jack of Blades? What kind of name is Jack of Blades when you think about it? I mean, he doesn't have a lot of blades on him, right? Or have we not... Well, we haven't fought in him, so we don't know. Maybe he does have a lot of blades. It's just... Or he's not pointy enough. Or sharp enough. Maybe his wit is sharp. I don't know. But, uh... I guess it's just a moniker. Who knows what his real name actually was. You're back. Things are far worse than I'd feared. Maze's betrayal surprised us all. But we have larger problems. Jack is trying to activate the ancient focus sites across Albion. You oh, no. must stop him at all costs. I will explain more over your guild seal. Now, step through the Kallis Gate. What about the rest of the heroes? Why aren't they helping? Oh, wait, you except there's a new quest card. Except, except I killed Whisper. Thunder ran away in shame. Briar Rose has disappeared from the story. She was only in that one side quest. She doesn't appear back up until the epilogue, by the way. Uh, Scythe 
disappears into the epilogue. Uh, let's see. Our mother got captured by Jack. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anyone else. No, I don't think so. I think that's it. So we're the only hero around. Good job, uh, Guild, Ma Guild Hall, for creating us heroes. Only a handful of us. All right. Well, what is Jack of Blades planning for this world? Will he be able to get the sword? What about Teresa and my mother? Will they just watch as their little boy gets killed by one of the most fearsome heroes, quote unquote, of all time? Find out next time in the finale of the original story of Fable, The Lost Chapters. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.